Five, four, three, two, one. In 2011, America's great spacecraft, the Space Shuttle, was officially retired from service. But today, just three years later, NASA is well on their way to creating bigger and better things with their space launch system. It'll be the biggest rocket ever built, taking humans further into space than ever before. And it will all be made possible thanks to this. The Vertical Assembly Center, the largest welding tool in the world, standing 170 feet tall and 78 feet wide. The VAC officially became open for business on September 12th, 2014. Five, four, three, two, one. Construction on the VAC began last December with crews laying 900 cubic yards of concrete for the machine's foundation. It was needed to support the three million pound tool plus the weight of the rocket. It's now part of a large family of welding tools that will help build the core stages of the space launch system. We are now ready to begin welding the massive core stage, putting it all together and testing it and getting it down to the cape in order to take our next step on our journey to Mars. The VAC has a very important role it will be used to weld together domes, rings and barrel sections of the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen tanks for the SLS. NASA will also use the tool to perform non-destructive testing on completed welds. It'll be the last stop for the rocket before it's ferried off to Kennedy Space Center. This rocket again is a game changer for deep space exploration and will launch NASA astronauts to investigate asteroids and explore the surface of Mars, while opening new possibilities for science missions as well. Since its inception, more than 50 years ago, NASA has relied on advances in welding to get humans into space. Today, that is still true, as they rely once again on a true welding wonder, the Vertical Assembly Center.